I remember one time it said that Mo he was homeless at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I seen that too. Yeah, see, like, but that after he turned like eighteen or something. Nah, that's about like sixteen. Sixteen. Or Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Tell us early, like, y'all the men in the house. Ain't no, it wasn't no boyfriends. We ain't had no stepdaddy. Like, it was come through here, but they know what's up. By the time they coming, we bad as hell. They know what's up. Then how come out of time? Because I remember um, in a interview, because he said she was always there for y'all. You could always be there. But I remember one time it said that Mo, he was homeless at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I seen that too. Yeah, see, like, but that after he turned, like, 18 or something. Nah, it was about like 16. 16. So how like, comes he was homeless when mama and finna, you were there? I put him right through there. Like when I tell you, like we used to argue about, like, this ain't, you ain't, that gang ain't woo. Three been bad for a long time. So when he was 16, he was on the run because he had a warrant. Like he had no warrant, but he violated probation. All that he was supposed to go to jail. Mm -hmm. So if you stay at home, my mama being the mama gonna make you go to jail. You out here being bad and shot at. So in her head, it's like, I rather you be in jail. She told him that he said it on the song or something mm -hmm. like that. But like that's real life. That that really happened. Like that's just, any mama. I'm prefer you be in jail than that. When he was talking about that homeless, mm -hmm. shit, like I used to sneak him under the bed. But even when he got older, like my mama started going through, shit, and he was homeless again. Like, but that's life. You know, that's when we was grown. Was How grown. did that affect you though? See me like early, like I said, since about sixteen, I've been kind of like I've been kind of doing my thing. I know how to get some money. I know how to work. So. When my mama knew when I was in high school, like I said, I made myself into school. Like my last year of school, three had just got out of jail. And like everything went sour because she paid for lawyers to get him out of jail. Mm -hmm. So she had to move with her daddy. But we in McKinney at the time. She moved with her daddy to go all in three, move with her, but he ended up doing his thing, doing with this girl. That's what he be talking about. But me, I'm from McKinney. I know my cousin stay here, my partner stay right here, he stay right here, this stay right here. And I got my own money. So I don't really need nothing but somewhere to sleep. So I made myself in school, and that's how I never had my first baby mama. I met her and, and lived with her. Like, so it, wow. it affected me, but it, like, it really didn't affect me because like, it, it affected me like this, some crazy shit. I remember before my mama got put out, I had like probably two wrecks, but I'm in like 11th grade. And she was like, it's like 1100 to uh, so we ain't got to move no more. She ain't knowing I got this much money, but she been stealing. Like, you know, she a mama. She taking our stuff. And like, I was on my selfish time, like, Hell nah, everybody for the movie. I'm finna be out here. I'm finna keep my money. <laughs> like, not, not for real. I'm a child, though. Like, right. I'm not knowing that I really could have gave her that 1100. We still live here. We all stay here. I shake back like I know now. But like, nah, it ain't really affecting me, though. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.